Welcome back everybody. This is Dave with Spider Monkey 2A and we're back out at the range and we're finally feeling like fall here in Southwest Wisconsin. Today we've got a scope on our AR-65 Grendel that we've had for a while, but I don't think I've ever had it on this rifle before. So we're gonna test it out on it, see how it works. Stick around, should be a lot of fun. Okay guys, so got out the 6.5 Grendel again in my AR platform. This is our Bear Creek Arsenal Upper. Uh, I believe it's a 20 inch barrel. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's been a while. But I love my Grendels, so we got it out in our AR platform and we got our Sig Sauer Whiskey 3 to 9 by 40 scope on there. I have used this scope on many of the rifles that I've had. I don't believe I've had it on our AR platform. 6.5 Grendel. I can't remember the last one I've had it on. It's kind of been sitting around a while. But I like these SIG scopes, guys, uh, right next to the Vortex Crossfire 2. They're probably my go-to as far as a budget setup. I'm gonna apologize for the wind. I got the cover on today, but I'm sure it's probably still sounding like crap. Anyway, three to nine by 40. Um, <clears throat> I've got it on paper here up close. We're gonna back it up to about 50 yards and then uh, zero it out there. We've uh, arrived kind of just use the crappy steel case wolf ammo 100 green fmjs nasty stuff dirties up my rifle bad but then we'll zero it in with our hornady black uh eld matches i'm not gonna use this probably for hunting this year so i'm just throwing this sig sour scope on here this whiskey scope it's got clear enough glass uh yeah i'm not gonna be able to show you through the camera i'm just not good at that clear glass uh, hold zero very very well. Um, I don't remember the last rifle I had this one on in particular I believe I had their Buckmaster on this AR setup a while back and that performed very well So we're just gonna shoot it around a little bit nothing crazy uh, The only specs I'm gonna give you are the 3 to 9 by 40 um, <clears throat> It's an MOA. I don't know the overall length. I don't do all the dimensions and stuff like that guys It's a nice looking scope uh, very budget friendly. I believe just a shade over a hundred dollars. Like I said next to the crossfire 2 I believe this is probably your best go-to for a budget Starter go-to scope. All right, so let's back it up a little bit make sure we're uh, on paper and then we'll fire off some steel All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and wing it. We got the Hornady black loaded up Like I said, we're at about 50 ish yards. Maybe a shade over Got the lead sled out here kind of a hillbilly setup but we're just going to make sure it's on paper. I'm not going to do the close-up camera up there because this is not my uh, go-to as far as our 100-yard group test stuff. So we're just going to make sure it's close. Then we're going to ring some steel. Let that one go. Fire off a few more. All right, I'm gonna have to go up and take a look. It looks like we put three in one hole there, which should be the case at about 50-ish yards. Let's go up and take a look. I'm gonna walk up here, and I definitely did not put three in the same hole, guys. Uh, I was a little mistaken there. I had to go back and reshoot it. Uh, I did not hit the target at all. So when going from that steel to the Hornady Black, I was, yeah, we were way off. But anyway, I got her tweaked in. Uh, still not the greatest at 50 yards. So I had stuff up here and we decided to aim for the top of this. I did have my first two shots there, not too bad. Then I had a flyer here. Um, that Grendel setup, Grendel AR setup, Bear Creek Arsenal is does not like that Hornady Black very much, never has. But at 50 yards, that's fine. I'm not gonna use this for hunting, so I'm not going for deadly precision accuracy right now. Um, 129 SSTs seem to run best out of this uh, Bear Creek Arsenal Grendel setup. We'll, we'll ring around some steel. I'm gonna see if I can, since we got the lead sled out, I'll see if I can get a focused shot of through that glass. Just to show you, it's just that dead hold. Uh, there's no bullet drop, just your standard crosshairs through that Sig Sauer whiskey scope. Uh, so it's definitely a budget starter scope. 
sorry i'm dragging you through the grass here it's probably waving you everywhere but as we walk back to the truck yeah so nothing crazy on a three to nine by 40 that's pretty standard what you would want as far as a hunting setup depending on what your range is as far as uh say we're whitetail hunting here in wisconsin but if you are within 200 ish yards probably be a great setup for you if you're out past that you're probably going to want something a little fancier not just that dead hold i mean unless you practice and you know definitely where to hold as far as or top of your game i mean obviously you need to calculate your bullet drop you need your velocities all that good stuff man i'm getting winded and it's only a 50 hard walk see anyway let's see if we can get this thing set up so you can see what the crosshairs look like all right guys i'm freehanding this trying to show you it so not too bad at all let's see if we can't shimmy shimmy that over there so you can see some targets all right so if you can see that guys if that looks pretty clear might not be focused in on the gopro here not terrible um like i said i've seen worse glass especially for the price shade over a hundred dollars i believe when i bought this a few years ago there you go but yeah just your standard crosshairs nothing crazy you don't have the bullet drops and all that stuff all that fancy gadgets and stuff so let's uh get up on this hillside here that'll put us at about 100 ish yards maybe a little bit shorter but we're going to take some shots there make sure we're holding good enough and the scope holds zero fairly well especially with 6.5 grendel it's not much for recoil it's not going to throw it off there maybe eventually we'll throw it on the bale we'll see if it handles that but let's take some shots a little bit further range and i guess before we do that we can show you a little bit here what we're working with you got very visible numbering there obviously uh you got your little focus lens here to fine tune it nice little fiber optic little indicator right there so that if you're in low light scenario you can see where you're at um you got your like i said one click it's quarter moa uh same with left or right not bad you got very easily on and off there not bad front glass not too shabby uh i mean i guess you can put a cap on there if you wanted to and your eye relief here got a nice rubbery cushion there not too bad at all budget friendly not bad all right guys so to range it here see where we're at okay we're right at about 90 yards so just shade under 100 uh i got i think i got 10 of the hornady black loaded up i'm probably not going to shoot them all i don't want to waste the ammo but it is fun to plink around with grendel uh hornady black isn't outrageously priced but it's hard to find sometimes uh and then we got five rounds of the wolf i want to see if we're getting similar or if i can hit both at 100 shade under 100 yards about 90 yards with both the uh wolf which is 120 grain just fmjs and the 123 grain ele matches so let's start out with the matches and we're just gonna alternate from steel targets down there they said i don't have the close-up camera going because shooting steel yeah we get that uh spalling and i don't want to do that so let's see how we do here uh we'll probably shoot four or five with these depends on how i hit and we'll we'll go to the closer up fence post targets and the hanging steel let's start with the hanging steel Uh, I think I got one more in the chamber there, so fired off more than those than I wanted. We got one more black, and then we will, it's going to alternate to the wolf steel. All right. There we go. One more of the Hornady black. All right. Everything good on that. We're switching to the steel. All right, and we're out. And we did just fine with that. Obviously, this Grendel, uh, this AR setup Grendel, loves pretty much everything I run through it. Uh, as you can see, we're clear, open, we'll close the bolt, and nothing. Okay, so everything ran just fine. 
the scope seemed to hold where we wanted to. Obviously, we would need to run it back a little bit further back. We're not going to do that today. Uh, we can take it back up to about 300 yards. We'll do that in a different video, possibly. If you guys want to see more videos where I actually test out scopes, we'll figure out some different tests to run them through, obviously more than just shooting. Uh, but handling the recoil, this one handled just fine. I do believe I had this on a 350 Legend before. I will have to go back personally. I forget everything. Uh, but yeah, I think we had it on a 350 Legend or possibly a 450 Bushmaster, and it held up just fine with that as well. So not bad at all, guys. All right, everybody, there you have it. Just a fun little video, short little one on our SIG Whiskey 3. See right there? 3 to 9 by 40 scope. Would it be my number one go-to? Absolutely not. Um, but it is a very, if it was one that I had just laying around and I had to have an optic and get it zeroed in for hunting season if I was within 200 yards, sure, I would be more than comfortable going with this. I have, I think on my Ruger American Predator, I'm gonna set this down, because uh, I believe when I took my first doe with that, I had on the Buckmaster, the Sig Buckmaster, which had the bullet drops on it, but I shot within 200 yards, so I didn't exactly need it. And it worked just fine, flawlessly. Um, all right, everybody, there you have it. If you wanna see more scope reviews, we can go a little more in depth and bring Scott onto the channel. He knows more about optics than I do. If you wanna see more videos like that, drop it in the comments below. All right, everybody, there you have it. This is Dave of Spider Monkey 2A. Give us a like, maybe share this video. Turn that bell on for notifications so you know when the video is coming out. <sighs> Hope you subscribe. And hit that super thanks. Share a little bit if you want. If not, no big deal. And as always, thanks for stopping by.